were rescued. The Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, sent her, said her thoughts and prayers were with those affected by the loss of life. Richard Galpin has this report. The French authorities say a major rescue operation was launched this morning in response to a report that a migrant boat was sinking off the coast of Sangat. About 50 people were rescued by British and French vessels. Some were taken to hospital in a serious condition. A number of people were seen being carried off a British lifeboat on stretchers when the vessel docked in Dover. French officials now say six people have died. The MP for Calais gave us this update. Around 65 to 70 people were on these two boats. Um, 56 people were uh, rescued by the French authorities. Uh, five people were found dead uh, at sea. Uh, one people die, died uh, at the, at the Calais uh, hospital. And um, we are still missing 10 people. The Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, posted this message on social media, saying her thoughts and prayers were with those affected by the tragic loss of life. She is expected to chair a meeting with Border Force officials later today. On Thursday, 755 people crossed the Channel, the largest daily figure so far this year. And more than 100,000 have made the journey since the crossings began in earnest in 2018. Once again, the Channel, one of the most dangerous and busiest shipping lanes in the world, has proved to be deadly for migrants. Richard Galpin, BBC News. Our correspondent Simon Jones is at Dover with this update on the story. In terms of the sequence of events, a passing ship actually spotted a boat carrying migrants in difficulty. It was reported that the people on board that boat were actually trying to bail out water using their shoes. Now, an emergency response was activated. Several lifeboats were sent to the scene, and by the time they arrived, it was a pretty catastrophic picture. You had numerous people in the water screaming for help. Rescuers did what they did. One person airlifted to hospital in Calais where that person was pronounced dead. Five other bodies were taken to the shore by the lifeboat and the survivors, around 40 to 50 people, were actually brought here to Dover and also on the other side of the channel over in Calais. But I think what is concerning for the authorities is speaking to rescuers, they say over the past week, this this is the seventh time that people have actually been pulled from the water. Now, there is a fear that the smugglers who are organising these crossings perhaps have a defective batch of boats, and that is putting lives very much at risk. In terms of the rescue operation, that is continuing out in the channel because these boats are often dangerously overloaded, and it can be difficult to know exactly how many people are on board. So the authorities are continuing to scour the the water in case there could potentially be any more survivors or perhaps even more bodies. Our correspondent Simon Jones in Dover for us earlier. Well, let's go live now to Florence where we can speak to Andrew Geddes, who's director at the Migration Policy Centre at the European University Institute. Thank you so much for joining us, Andrew. Uh, first of all, what do you think British and French authorities should be doing to prevent tragedies like this? Well, I think there's... Uh... As, as we have heard from the reporting, it's absolutely essential the authorities are able to cooperate to prevent people making these dangerous journeys. The fact that this is continuing is an indication of the, up to now, the failure of cooperation. Uh, there have been frequent attempts over recent years for the French and British authorities to reach agreement on more effective means of policing the channel and stopping people embarking on these deadly and dangerous journeys, but we are not seeing the results of that. So. I think that this is an indication of a failure of a cooperation and need for a reinforced cooperation to prevent this kind of tragedy reoccurring. And what would that cooperation look like? Uh, for example, the Dover MP, Natalie Elphick, said that this incident highlights the need for joint patrols on the French coast to stop migrants leaving there to come to British shores in the first place. What's your response to that? Well, I think there's, there, there, any, there's no magic solution. No one single measure can uh, resolve the, the what is a very complex issue. There would need to be increased cooperation on security to prevent people making these journeys. Uh, there could also be attempts in France 
to process people so that there may be people who have legitimate claims for protection, uh, unaccompanied children or people who clearly need protection. And so things could be done to protect them and ensure they're not exposed to these risks. So I think there are a number of things that could be done as well as measures to enhance security cooperation, but also to try to ensure that those people who would need protection are able to secure that protection either in France or in the UK. Uh, and given that despite the dangers we know of, of crossing the channel on small boats like this, people still do continue to risk their lives uh, travelling from France to Britain in this way. Do you think that anything that the French authorities or the British authorities do will actually be able to successfully and effectively stop that? I think there are measures that could be done to uh, reduce the problem that we're experiencing. The frequency with it, these tragedies occurring, I think for most people, it's just unacceptable and something needs to be done to try to stop it. Uh, what we're also seeing, and I think perhaps we can put it in a wider European context, we're seeing increased arrivals across the Mediterranean. We're seeing increased numbers of people trying to cross the channel. This is becoming a, a Europe-wide issue that requires stronger cooperation between European countries. It's not that there can be some miraculous solution that uh, people in uh, often motivated by persecution or severe economic hardship are they're unlikely to uh, stop making these migratory journeys but uh, the, the situation in Europe at the moment is becoming untenable and uh, the, there's a clear need for stronger and more effective cooperation. Well, Andrew, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you. That's Andrew Geddes, the director at the Migration Policy Centre at the European University. In Join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.